I think it's safe to say that the messaging behind the upcoming Spider-Man Miles Morales on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 has been nothing short of confusing and a mess. So let's now talk about the Spider-Man PS4 remaster coming to PlayStation 5 and how you can and cannot get it. Again, more confusing things to talk about. So I think by now everybody is sort of uh, cleared on what's happening with Spider-Man Miles Morales. It is a cheaper game, but it is a complete game. Of course, it's not going to run as long as the original Marvel Spider-Man. And originally it was revealed as a PlayStation 5 exclusive. And then it was promoted that way during the PlayStation 5 price reveal. And then it was revealed right after that it's also coming to PlayStation 4. Now, this is all good because in my opinion, people get to play the game slash get to enjoy it on the console they already own and they don't have to drop 400 to 500 dollars on the PlayStation 5. Now at the same time it was then revealed that Spider-Man from the PS4 is of course coming to the PlayStation 5 as a remastered version, except more confusion followed with this because you have to buy the ultimate edition, if you will, the premium edition of Miles Morales that includes the remaster. But then we heard another update. If you just take your PlayStation 4 version of Spider-Man and you put it into PS5, you can play it. That's great your saves will carry over, except you're not getting the remaster treatment because the remaster is again a different build of the game. So you do need to buy the game as part of the Miles Morales collection or the ultimate edition of the game. Now at the same time, your PS4 saves will not carry over because again, it's a different style of thing. And here's the other update they then updated on top of this other update was the fact that unless you buy it as part of the Miles Morales Complete Edition, you're not actually going to be able to buy the game otherwise. So you either got to get the complete package to get the remaster or you're not going to get it. So again, the messaging on this has been completely a disaster from every standpoint when it comes to Miles Morales and then this one. And honestly, they should have just announced all of this to start because it would have just made things simple. I think, you know, that makes sense. I think everybody can agree on that. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they proceed with this. And if down the road, they do make it a standalone thing. Again, I could see this happening. You know, if you look back at Call of Duty, for example, originally they're like, we're re-releasing Modern Warfare or Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And it'll only be included with this one pack. And then like a year later, it was made standalone. So again, I could see this changing down the road, but I think they're trying to incentivize people that are picking up the PlayStation 5 to on day one, pick up the best version of Miles Morales, the most expensive one, so they can get a complete package. And in that way, yeah, it's a business, it's cynical, but it makes sense. 